everyone. My name is Carissa. I am a singer, voiceover artist, actress. I have two degrees in music and I love reacting to singers on YouTube. Here's the thing. Nobody asked me to react to this, but I am going to. Now, why am I going to react to this? I have a special vested interest in this kind of singing. Um, and the reason being, okay, first of all, let me tell you, what am I reacting to? So I am reacting to a video titled Singing Before and After Testosterone, uh, FTM Trans by Noah Finesse. So Noah Finesse, uh, for Noah Finesse maybe uh, is how you pronounce it. I've never seen this person in my entire life. It just showed up on my Explore page and it was posted eight days ago. So I was like, you know, I really would like to see that transition and see like the differences and like talk about the differences. Now, why would I like to talk about the differences, specifically me? Because I am currently teaching somebody who is going through that transition with uh, testosterone and I have seen some of the changes even just in the few lessons we've had together. I have worked with lots of people who are transitioning in like in the workforce and seen how it's affected their lives, how it's affected their voices. And I've seen them over long term and, and seen how it's affected them. So I've had friends, I have co I've had coworkers, um, I've had very close family friends go through things like this. And I'm teaching somebody who is going through something like this. So I am very interested in this subject matter in particular because I think regardless of what the politics are with, with it, which I'm not interested in the politics, just comment section, I'm not. <laughs> What I am interested in is how this affects the voice, because as a voice teacher, the thing that I learned when I was in college was when a boy goes through or an, I guess an, a boy, an AMAB uh, assigned male at birth goes through the voice change, the larynx actually gets taller and wider. And this this change can happen over a course of days or weeks or months. And it's just like these kind of bizarre growth spurts that create all these cracks and bends and shapes and, and, and things like that in the voice. So I'm very curious to hear somebody who is monitoring this through their singing voice um, and what that, that looks and feels like and sounds like to them. So let's, let's check it out. This is an 11 minute video. So I'm gonna be starting and stopping and commenting and talking and we're going to be watching uh noah as uh as they go through this transition i'm very curious to see what uh what happens throughout this video hello underachievers so here's a video that i wanted to film for a very long time i don't know if you've noticed i haven't posted a cover on my channel in ages it's it's been years and the only excuse that i have for that is that i'm a perfectionist and i'm not happy with literally anything that i make i have filmed several covers I, I've put days of work into these and then I never ended up posting them because I just wasn't happy with them. I, I used to post that. a cover every single week and I was so proud of them. Mm -hmm. I loved them. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, my dad's kitchen, which I used to film them in, just sounds so good. Mm -hmm. And since I've moved out of my dad's house, I've not found a place that sounds as good. So I just haven't done it. I feel that. makes me sad. I feel I that. I really did enjoy making mm -hmm. them. So on to the concept of the video. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, I am transgender, I am trans. Uh, I started testosterone in 2018, which was five years ago. And five starting testosterone well. was something that I was horrendously excited for. It was the only thing keeping me going through school. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Best decision I ever made in my life. That just for me personally, I, I feel at peace. <laughs> oh, that sounds cringe. I finally feel at peace and comfortable with myself. So That's that was good. never something that I ever regretted, never something that I was doubtful about, but I was absolutely horrified of the idea that I may lose my singing voice because mm -hmm. as I said, I would post a cover every single week. That was that was essentially my job. For those of yeah. you that don't know much about hormone replacement therapy, pretty much what happens is that when a trans guy goes on testosterone, he will experience puberty at an accelerated rate. So like most cis guys, when they go through puberty naturally, their voice takes, you know, a few years to drop. Whereas mine dropped in less than a year. So you can imagine adapting and changing to those changes in your voice um, could possibly be troublesome. And yes. back then, before I started testosterone, there weren't too many videos like this that I had seen. I would go all around the internet asking to hear people's voices before and after testosterone when they sung. And I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot of trans support groups of lovely people, but they are tone deaf. And I, yeah, <laughs> I, I did not really know how my voice was gonna sound. I'm Yikes. trouble worried about it. I'm here to tell you right now that if you are currently, like I was five years ago, and like absolutely terrified of losing your ability to sing, that is 
very unlikely to happen. You will most likely be absolutely fine. You'll be great. There will be awkward stages, absolutely. Were there times where all that came out was air and squ- I want to go ahead and pause it and bump, bump, bump in here. I want to piggyback on that and also say that this this issue of feeling like you're going to lose your voice also happens with women and sopranos when they have children. So women also get really, really scared to start families because they're like, oh, no, like my my high notes are going to go away, especially coloraturas are like my high notes are going to go away. I'm never going to be able to sing high again. I'm never going to be able to like have those notes again. And uh, exactly what what um, what Noah is saying is is true, like no matter what, you're still going to have your voice. If you've trained it that much, if you've done that much with it, like it's still going to be there. You're going to have different, like it's going to feel different, but essentially you're not going to have a different instrument. It's just going to shift a little bit and you're going to have some changes, but it's essentially the same muscles being pumped through the same neurons and all of that kind of nonsense. So yeah, yeah. Squeaks. Yeah, were there times where it was just really cringe for me to open my mouth because I just sounded like a f duck? Yeah, there were awkward phases, there were squeaks, there were cracks, mm -hmm. and look, yep. I kept singing and posting covers during this time. Yes. I, I was uploading, so if that's something you're worried about, you can go and watch my old covers. That's I important. T that's important, by the way. If you are transitioning and you're scared of losing something like your voice, keep doing it. Keep practicing it. The more that you keep practicing it, the easier it's going to get and the more that you're going to be acquainted with your voice when you come out the other end. In 2018. So before then, during 2018, that's the big time. And I can't lie to you. I love the cracks. I love the squeaks. The yes. Texture. Yes. The song, and they also reminded me that like I'm finally going through the puberty. Yes. Like, like my entire life I should have. This is so important. The cracks and squeaks are so important. And I tell this to my student too. Um, shout out to my student. I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to like out them on my channel. But dude, like... The squeaks and cracks are so important to feel. They're so important because they are texture. They are part of the music. They are part of that thing. A yodel is a crack, is a controlled crack. The uh, uh, that is important to know how to do in a lot of pop and a lot of country and a lot of other music. It's super important. Embrace the cracks. Embrace the stuff. Crab hands. Let's continue. Have gone through. You just gotta embrace the awkward changes. Yes. If you're like me and you know going on testosterone and having top surgery was really important to you, you just gotta accept the, the weird stuff. Yes. The smelling bad, the weird voice cracks. And yes, I did lose some of my range, but to be completely honest, I can still sing pretty high. For double reassurance, just before I started like properly recording my own original music and before I actually went to the studio, I wanted to make sure that I was singing right and that I wasn't going to screw up my voice. And, you know, I went to a professional vocal coach and I was like, hey, uh, is my voice screwed up? Is my, is my voice any different to any other guy of my age? We had a few singing lessons. She said, no, there's nothing to worry about. And she also said I have a great range. So thanks, Mary. That made me feel real good. And speaking of Doing my own great, original Mary. music, I'm sorry, I really just have to promo it. My brand new song just came out. It's called Growing Up on the Internet. And Cute. it's about my experience growing up chronically online. And most importantly, the thing that stems me writing that song was the fact that when I was 15 years old, a all got me tattooed on his body. That was kind of weird. And if you've ever had any weird experiences online, I'm sure you'll love the song. And just for Incredible. reference, in the video that I'm about to show you, I was actually older than I was when this happened. So you just, yeah. So on to the actual video. I am recreating a cover that I did in 2017 when I was a child. The song is Turning Page. And yes, it absolutely is that song from Twilight. I will never deny that I was a, a big Twi heart. Now bear in mind, before I show you this cover, I was a child. J just remember that. And, and secondly, my ukulele skills were not skilling. Oh. I have never had skillage. I, I pretty much attacked the instrument. Cutie! So it's very jarring. To be fair, I still do that with my guitar. I once played a show where I was so nervous that I had to change my guitar three times within one song because I just kept hitting them so hard and it went out of tune and the string broke. And I'm so sorry, but speaking of shows, I'm going on tour next month. You're Here doing great. Dates. It's a UK and You're doing I'm great, tour. sweetie. It's very fun. You'll have a great time. Tickets are yes. cheap. I promise you, you will have fun. I guess I just we want love to show the you promos. the original cover I did now. Uh, enjoy. Yes. <sighs> I've waited a hundred years. This is a good voice. Yeah, first I've of all. A million more this is a good voice. Very clean, pretty voice. Nothing prepared me for what the privilege of be yours would do. 
This is a beautiful voice. smile how you curl your lip when you concentrate enough though i would have known what i've been living for all along what i've been living for beautiful nice so I, I've heard enough to to talk about like this voice okay so this is a young person singing right and this is a very, very pretty voice, right? What I like about this voice is that it's, again, this isn't a mimic. This is like, hey, I've heard enough pop to put together that I should use uh, uh, or uh, uh. like they're they're using a ton of pop like vernacular in their voice and using like a toolbox. Like this is already a singer who's making choices to uh, hear what they're saying, what, hear what they're, they're hearing in their realm of pop music and translating it. Right. And understandably like this creator is, is hard on themselves and, and watching yourself uh, when you're young is totally cringe. I totally get it. Like I cringe when I see my own videos too. I get it. Um, this is, this is, a, this is a large amount of talent at a very young age. So this is already a, a very talented person who has a lot of aptitude and is already taking tools and transferring them in a really, really cool way vocally. So I'm very curious to see how this changed. Now, I, I don't think, I think obviously this is, bef this is before a vocal change, right? I think the voice is going to get rounder. I think it's going to widen. I think that's, going to be most of what happens. I think the same vernacular and the same tonal cloud is going to be kind of used. So I'm curious how it changes. Your love is my turning page. Well, only the sweetest uh, words. Using that pop vernacular. Made. This is a very effortless. Made. Pretty. Every kiss is a cursive line. Every touch is a redefined phrase. The zoom ins are so funny. I surrender who I've been. That's good. Who you are. But nothing makes me strong. Nothing. Than I like that. That's good. an event that was quite something it definitely wasn't bad I had a cute no. little voice but the, the ukulele playing was way more jarring than i remember it being so on to the recreation this is very important you must listen with headphones i i promise you there's no point listening if you don't have headphones i'm being entirely honest i'm not a producer i'm not a mixer i don't know how things work but i panned harmonies and it just sounds way better on headphones so if you don't have headphones and you think it sounds bad well that's your problem and secondly all the lead vocals that you hear when i sing they're all taken from that one take. I filmed the the, the, the cover from two different angles. But they just ended up kind of being the same angle. I, I didn't realize they were just kind of the same angle. But every lead vocal that you hear is just from one take. I didn't like cheat and then go and re-record. Okay, that's good to know. Vocals. I that's good to know. Harmonies, just because I think it sounds better. And also you can hear my voice being higher. You can that's see good that to know. High and lower. Okay. Anyway, here it is. Enjoy. Please listen with headphones. Please, I beg. <laughs> I've waited a hundred years. Okay, 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 okay. Also, we can't really compare the sound because right off the bat, we have reverb and we have a better amplification system. Using a Shure SM7B, SM7B, 
is going to be a different sound. You're going to pick up different frequencies and you have reverb on your voice, baby. Your voice is going to sound different. We know that. We know that, right? It's going to be harder for me to compare because there, it, because your technology is now completely different. And also you're using a completely different instrument. You're using a nylon string guitar. You're going to have a fuller sound. So the accompaniment is also going to inform how this singer is going to sound. I'm just putting that right off the bat before I hear anything else. These are the differences. And I wait a million more so much more nuance. Oh, so pretty. Nothing prepare me for with the privilege of being yours with the I'm so sorry, but that point of view with the little stuffed toy that's like it's so good. It looks like it's commentating on the singing. Okay, done. I can't with this thing. <laughs> oh, so pretty. That little smile was so cute. Oh, how you curl your lip when you concentrate enough. Oh, I would know what I've been living for all along. Nuanced. Beautiful. I've been living for. Your love is my turning page. Beautiful. Where only the sweetest words remain. It's really pretty. Remain, remain, remain. It's a tough toy, man. Every kiss is a cursive line. Every touch is a redefined phrase. I surrender who I've been to who you are Cause nothing makes me stronger than your fragile heart I'm not gonna lie, I'm hearing more nasality. I'm hearing more nasality being used in the second version. It's interesting because although the younger version sounds like it's like maybe like higher or like more innocent or smaller or... I'm actually hearing more nasality used in the older version. So da, 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 more of a nasal production rather than maybe a, a chest voice or like a, a core uh, core voice production, which is a really fascinating thing that happens when, we, when we're younger and we don't have as much training. We kind of just use that primal core voice. But then as we start hearing more and more and more, maybe we start using some of the implica implications of the pop genre or what the pop genre has to offer as far as sound. So I'm actually hearing more um, mask or um, mix singing than core of the sound singing, just based on what I'm hearing right now. If I had only seen how it feels to be yours, then I would know no. So let's also look at the vowel shape on four. Hi, baby girl. She is so antsy. I'm going to have to take her out after this video. <laughs> um, like on on the, the on four, what I've been living for, four. I can't sing that low. But like as you're seeing him do this in the in the video, like that's now like him older, it's a different vowel shape. And when he's younger, it's just like it, a lot of these vowel shapes are slightly different. I'm not I'm not hearing a lot of like drop in the sound or anything like that. I'm hearing an older voice sing this so far. Beautiful. Wow. That was so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm really, really glad that he edited or sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that he edited this, this way. Cause it's really, really beautiful and really, really cool. Um, and th this is a, a really important video to post too, truly for so many reasons. And so 
thank you, Noah, for posting this. And I'm glad I just kind of stumbled upon it. And um, I will say right off the bat, uh, me hearing the differences, I'm, I'm not hearing like a huge tonal difference. And that's what I think is is really kind of cool and really exciting about these these transitional things happening in the in the medical industry in our society. It's like you're not going to lose your voice. Um, things are going to be different, and things are going to feel different. And I have no idea what that feels like. By the way, I am not saying I know a shred of this at all. I am I am I am from an outside perspective, absolutely. Um, from an outsider's perspective, I would like to help by saying that if you're going through a transitional phase with anything, like not even like hormones, like you lost all your high notes and you don't know why and you don't know how to get them back. Like if you continue to train the voice, if you continue to do it, it's going, your voice is going to flesh out. Your voice is going to find more nuance. Your voice is going to find more tools to use. And really what I'm seeing in this second video of this, this person who's older and, and transitioned is that they're using their tools in a different way and definitely using their technology in a different way. Do I see this as a completely different human voice? No, I actually don't. I see a lot of similarities and and I think it's it's really comforting and supporting and and exciting that we get to see a video like this that shows that maybe the change isn't going to be as scary as you think. And and again, I don't care about the political implications of this. I'm just saying as a vocalist, it's really really cool to see the unity and the synthesis through somebody's voice and their music career. Congratulations on the tour. Congratulations on the single. That's awesome. I'd love to see uh, his concluding notes. Let's check it out. But yeah, that was the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you think it was better or worse? Do you miss my old voice? If you do, don't tell me that. It's not a nice thing to hear. I don't know why I even said that. But no, I, I definitely don't miss my old voice. Sure, it would be nice to sing really high like an angel, but like I don't want to. I much prefer how my voice sounds now. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Let me know if you want me to do this with any of my other covers. Incredible. Yeah, super fun, super fun. Um, I don't know if Noah will ever watch this video. If he doesn't, I, hey, I get it. This is this is a cool video, and uh, and I'm glad videos are coming out like this, and I'm I'm glad people are showing the transition, and I don't mean medically, I mean in their singing voice. I think it's so cool and so powerful that people are showing that you can continue to change and flex and grow and so many things can happen to your body and your voice, but you can still express that thing and you can still do that thing. And that I think is the kernel of truth in this video that I, I really am walking away with. So like, thank you. Thank you for that. That's really cool. And, um, it's just a neat video to watch. If you have any other videos like this that show, a, a growth or a transition or a change or something like that in the voice or, or with a singer, please um, send them to me in the comments. I would love to peruse the comments and see what I can react to and what I can speak on as a vocal professional. So yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for watching this video all the way through. And uh, Noah, thank you for making this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.